In this video, you will learn how to calculate hours worked in Excel for midnight span. For example, currently you can see here, the start work is 7 p.m. during the evening and the end work is during the next morning, which is the 6 a.m. When the work start on one date and end on another date, then there is a separate method is used to calculate the hours worked. So let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. In previous tutorial, we have learned how to insert and format the time in Microsoft Excel. If you are not correctly formatted the time, then Excel will not be able to calculate the hours worked. If you are interested to insert and format the time according to Microsoft Excel requirements, then you can watch that tutorial. In second tutorial, we have learned how to calculate the hours worked when the start work and end work is the in the same date. For example, we have learned a simple method, put equal sign, then select end work cell, minus sign, and start work, press enter. Then you can easily calculate that one. And if we select this one and apply on remaining cells, you can see here Excel has automatically calculated these values for remaining rows except last one because Excel will not calculate this value because this was started on separate date and end on another date. So let's start this tutorial. Firstly, when you find similar situation where the work start on one date and end on another date, then we will use logical function to calculate the hours worked. Firstly, put equal sign where you want to display the result. After that, write if, double click on it. Then we will select the cell which contain the start work date, start work time. After that, we will insert the more than sign here you can see here that firstly we will insert the logical test after that we will insert the value if this logic is true and in last we will insert the values if it is if this logic is false then what will be the value so our logic is that the start work is greater than end work time. We will select end work cell. Then we will put comma sign. Then if it is true, then what will be the value? We will select end work. plus one it's mean consider it as next date and if it is fall consider it on same date we will again select end work then we will close this bracket put minus sign and we will select start work cell we have completed the formula. You can see here the our logic is that that the start work value if the start work value is greater than end work then consider it as next date which is C7 plus 1 otherwise consider it as end work date minus B7 B7 mean start work date. After this formula press enter and you have done it you have successfully calculated the hours worked when the start work date and end work date is different so you can use uh, this formula to calculate the hours worked if the start work and end work date are same for example if i select this one and when plus sign appear i move it on upward direction 
then you can see here the same values appeared here it's mean that this formula is applicable for same date as well as when the start work and end work dates are different so that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video goodbye